morning. So I skipped yesterday, you know, just to give you guys a break. You know, watching today's video, this really is where I, remember when I was talking about the training in a three dimensional environment? This is what I was really talking about. I mean, fighting for your life, like when a fight really happens, when an engagement really happens, it's not gonna be the perfect conditions. It's not going to be, it's not going to be standing on a square bay, squared up with a paper target. It is gonna be the worst possible situation. Could be multiple adversaries. It could be, you know, when you're bent over at the most uncomfortable, you could be in a bad body position. You could have just taken your gun out and put it somewhere you needed to in the glove box, but it's not gonna happen in a per under perfect circumstances. So how do you how do you train to that? We train on a square bay and we we do these drills and we do weapons retention drills and we do close different targets and you know, but how do you really put yourself in an environment to where you have experience in this specific thing? The military does this really well. They put you in a situation to where and this is from this is from my perspective. So people say, "Well, like, how do you how do you know how you're going to react in combat?" Like, I'll tell you this, my first firefight in combat really felt no different than the training that I had been in. And we, and everybody in my team reacted the exact same way. You reacted the same exact way that you did in training. And after it was over, you were like, holy shit, that just happened. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to recreate a situation that could happen in real life and give you the ability to react and gain that experience from that event. So when, when it happens in real life, it's not the first time happening to you. Last thing I'm gonna say is the instructors that you see here don't work for survival and tactical systems anymore. They're great instructors. They're off doing their own thing and training people and making the world a better place. I'm gonna link their websites in the comments below. So go give them a go give them a look see. If you're in their area, check them out and uh, hit them up. They're good guys. All right, enjoy the episode. Wonderful mixed martial arts, total combat training today. Uh, we did lots of physical fitness, marksmanship, both on the flat range and then dynamic with litter and casualty. I had a casualty also in my team, but we had such amazing strengths and leadership amongst us all, culminated with fighting for your life in the most uh, disadvantageous positions and being masked either by numbers or by weight and how to escape move to your pistol and get to these multiple targets and shoot them effectively and killing them effectively uh, in the shortest amount of time. Then they'll throw a monkey in the wrench and by being blindfolded, not being able to breathe and being blindfolded and then spun around and then being masked on, it took away some of those advan advantages that I would normally have in a ring or one-on-one -on -one or in a cage um, and it put me truly in a fight for my life. I mean it truly was a fight gone bad. Uh, instead of posturing up and smashing through these three very big, very strong, probably stronger than myself men, I chose to take a low line and spin out and just try to get to my pistol and um, stay as creative and stay as effective as I can be. But think about this, when you you're this close shot, yeah. and the trajectory of a round, okay, this bullet goes in right here into the meaty portion. If it just hits tricep and no bone, it's going to continue straight on its path and it's going to come into here. 
That's going to go into, it's going to crack a rib, it's probably going to get the bottom half of the lung, and it's probably going to stop in the kidney, okay? You shoot in the shoulder, you're coming straight down lung, heart, kidney, okay? So regardless, that if you don't just get the killing shot to the head, thinking about the trajectory and the angle of a shot, you know, shooting keyhole shots, shooting two, two bullets through the same hole is awesome. It's awesome. But you do more damage, even if someone's wearing body armor, you put one here and one here, one here and one here.